Good morning, this is All India Radio Kohima, the morning news read by Onala Tani. Nagaland government will discontinue all outside state treatment and medical reimbursement systems for government servants immediately. The government in a notification said it has implemented the Chief Minister's health insurance scheme by extending health insurance to all state government employees and their dependents on 1st October 2022. As such, all outside state treatment and medical reimbursement systems for government servants will be discontinued immediately. However, ongoing treatment or under-treatment will continue till discharged, subject to settlement of medical reimbursement bill within six months with effect from 1st of October 2022. A joint coordination meeting in view of the ensuing Nagaland Assembly election was held yesterday at Deputy Commissioner's Office, Garbian Long, Assam. The meeting was co-chaired by Deputy Commissioners Karbian Long and Dimapur, Nagalin. Deputy Commissioners of Dimapur and Karbian Long welcomed all the members present and highlighted the agenda of the meeting. The DCP headquarter, Dimapur, highlighted the security arrangement for the upcoming General Assembly election 2023 and requested the SP Karbian Long for security assistance as and when required. To this, the SP Karbian Long assured all possible help to the police officials during the election. The Deputy Commissioner Dimapur also discussed on liquor prohibition in the state and requested its counterpart for assistance regarding checking on smuggling of liquor in Dimapur district. External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar yesterday said that anybody should not directly or indirectly criticize our Joans as they are standing at 30,000 feet above the sea to protect the country. He said Joans should be respected and honored. The minister was replying to the discussion on the Anti Maritime Piracy 2019 Bill. Setting aside the criticism of the opposition on the China issue, he said opposition alleged that the government is indifferent to China, which is not true, because if it were true, then why send our army at the borders to deal with any kind of situation? During the discussion on the bill, senior Congress leader Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary had alleged that China has been adopting full wartime diplomacy and wants to dominate in the South China Sea and Indian Ocean, but the government is doing nothing. The government has accorded in-principle approval for setting up of 21 greenfield airports across the country. So far, nine greenfield airports have already been operationalized and the 10th greenfield airport at Mopa Goa has been inaugurated on 11th of this month. This information was given by Minister of State for Civil Aviation, retired General V.K. Singh, in a written reply to a question in Raja Sabha yesterday. The minister said that during pre-COVID period in the year 2018-19, the number of passengers' footfall at airports across the country had increased by 11.6% as compared to 2017-18. Passenger footfall had decreased during pandemic era. However, post-COVID, in the year 2021-22, the trend shows an increase of 63.7% over the year 2020-21. Atal Innovation Mission AIM at Niti Ayog yesterday opened applications for ATL Marathon 2022-23, a flagship innovation challenge under Atal Tinkering Labs program. The theme for this edition of ATL Marathon is India's G20 Presidency. As India assumed the presidency of the G20 this year, AIM has designed the problem statements based on G20's working group inspiring recommendations on internationally relevant issues in various areas of the focus. The idea is to create a huge opportunity for students to innovate, not just for a better India, but for the world, by resolving global problems in various sectors. Students can get all details about ATL Marathon in English and Hindi and submit their entries in both languages. Top teams will get an internship opportunity through the Student Innovator Program with leading corporates and incubation centers of India, certificates from AIM and many more exciting opportunities. That is all we have in this morning news bulletin. Have a pleasant day ahead.